what's happened, will it happen again? Is the future just going to repeat itself when it comes to these tax reforms and what the market is seeing? Well, I think the market may be mistaken because I think that the ta things are not always, they don't always go in a cyclical repeat pattern, but you can sort of get, get some kind of a, of a gist of what's going on. I think that Trump has managed to antagonize so many people on the Hill that I would be very surprised, actually, if he does get his tax bill through at least the way that he wants it. So I'm afraid that the markets may be airing their in, in for a bit of a jolt when this doesn't happen. All right. Well, I mean, he, he says it's going to be a big week. Uh, he, he said so on Twitter. When, did he, uh, when didn't he say that? His yes. preferred uh, social media platform of choice. Um, but what are the hang-ups? I mean, they've got 52 majority. All they need is 50. Can they hang on? I don't think so, because I think that he will have, with people like McCain, he will have antagonized them so much that they really, at the end of the day, they, they've been putting their swords out very quietly just, just to attack him. And besides which, nobody really knows in the, in the profession that lower taxes will boost investment. It's not a given. So, Enzio, where does that leave us in terms of the outlook for rate hikes? Uh, we might hear from Jerome Powell in the coming days. Uh, the market appears to be largely unconvinced about the longer-term ability of this institution to stoke inflation. Where do you stand in this conversation, and what will it mean for those hikes? Inflation is yesterday's story. It's not tomorrow's story. It's deflation and coping with that and demography. Yesterday's story is all about globalization and about technology that have pushed the production curve to be something rather infinite. In other words, if you need more production, you simply produce more at the same low cost because of technology and because the power of the unions have been broken through the gig economy. So I think that what we will find going forward is that the Fed will, that the rates will rise, but for a very different reason, which is fiscal policy, especially if he goes through with his increased infrastructure spending, that will raise the rates at the long end of the curve.